So many pupils are confused about CBCS pattern that has been recently introduced by Usmania University. In this edition of video, let's discuss choice based credit system that is nothing but CBCS pattern. Your academic year begins in June to July and ends in May to June. In this system, one academic year is divided into two parts known as semesters. Therefore, one year is equal to two semesters. Each semester consists two internal assessments and one time practical examination for computer related subject that is just before the main theoretical examinations. Main theoretical examinations for first semesters are generally scheduled between November to December and those for second semesters will be conducted between May to June every year. Now let's have a look on Almanac for the year 2019-20 which is as follows. So as per Almanac, new academic year was supposed to be started from 1st July 2019. Here I should clear that this is for second and final year students. Next, first internal assessment that may happen between 26th of August to 31st of August. Next one, short term vacation of the share of holidays starting from 28th September to 9th October. Next one, commencement of classes after short term vacation 10 October 2019. Second internal assessment, this may happen between 28th October to 31st October. Last date of instruction is 5th November 2019. Preparation holidays and commencement of practical examination 6th November to 11th November 2019. Commencement of main theoretical examination expected to be from 13th November 2019. This schedule is expected. Final examination timetable may be different from this alpha. Now let's talk about internal assessment examinations. As discussed earlier, each and every semester having two internal examinations and each subject is for maximum 20 marks, except two credit subjects, that is only for 10 marks. Remember here credit means number of periods, what you are going to learn in a week. Average of two internal assessment marks will be awarded in marks memorandum. For example, if you get 15 marks in English in first internal assessment and 17 in second one, in that case 16 will be counted as 15 plus 17 is equal to 32 divided by 2 is equal to 16 that is average. And maximum marks in main theoretical examination is 80 for each subject out of which minimum passing marks is 32 that is equal to 40%. For two credit subject, maximum marks is 40 and minimum qualifying marks is 16. Remember, there will be no special supplementary examinations will be conducted by the university. However, students can clear their backlogs along with their regular subjects in second, fourth or six semesters respectively. Your resulted mark sheet will be in grade point system. Now let's know about number of subject you have in an academic year. That is in semester number 1 and semester number 2. Let's start with semester number 1. As usual your first subject is going to be English as first language. And for that number of credits are 4. Next one is second language maybe Hindi or Arabic it is up to you having 4 credits in a week. Next one is environmental or basic computer skill with 2 credits. Next one is financial accounting with 5 credits. Next one is business organization and management that has 5 credits in a week. And finally your last subject is foreign trade and that too has 5 number of credits in a week. Now have a look on the list of the subjects going to be in second semester. As usual here also, English is your first language, 
with four number of credits in a week. Second one is second language may be Arabic or Hindi having same four number of credit. Next one is basic computer skills or environmental science with two credit only. Next one is financial accounting with five credits in a week. Next one is business law your fifth subject that too having five number of credits. And finally last one is banking and financial services with five number of credits in a week. Now let's move to conclusion. The system of CBCS does not allow you to waste your valuable time. So our suggestion for you is to respect your lecturers, follow their instructions and obey the rules and regulations of the college. Thank you and all the best.